first thing to notice with this question is that um, to find a distance of a velocity time graph you've got to work out the area underneath the curve. Now at A level there are much easier ways of doing this but we at GCSE have to do this using the trapezium rule. Now the trapezium rule goes as follows you're going to carve that curve or the underneath of that curve up into trapeziums to try and estimate, and this is what it asks us to do, the area underneath it, therefore the distance. So it says it will always give you hints about what it wants you to do. So it gives us a hint saying that it wants it between 2 and 10, but it wants it in four equal intervals. So if I do 2 and 10, so we can get started. Now, let's have a look and see how many squares there are in between them. There's eight. So if we want four equal intervals, we'll probably go up in twos. So let's try twos and hopefully it will work nicely. Now, we haven't created trapeziums yet, so let's create trapeziums now. So we're going to create trapeziums for these four. There we go. Okay, let's try and get the heights of these trapeziums. And I normally draw it onto the graph itself. It's a little bit easier to get my head around. So that's, I think that's 11. I think that's uh, 6. I think the height of this one is probably, because I've drawn it badly, I think it's 3. The uh, height of this one is 2. And the height of this one, I think, is 3. And the width of them is 2, so all of them is 2. OK, so we need to remember how to work out the area of a trapezium. It's half A plus B H. Now this is quite misleading because H actually using the trapezium rule is the width of the trapezium. It's because the trapeziums are kind of on their side. So H is always going to be 2 for these. So what I would do is just number the, the trapeziums that I'm doing. So I'm going to do number one. Now number one is going to be half 11 plus 6, because A and B are the ones on the left and right of the trapezium, times 2. And I can use my calculator for this. So it's going to be 17 divided by 2 times 2. Oh, I don't know why I'm dividing by 2 and times by 2. It's just going to be 17, because the half and the 2 will cancel out. So the second one is going to be half, and this time it's 6 plus 3 times 2. Well, we know the half and the 2 will cancel out, so that's just going to be 9. The third one, the third trapezium, and if you want to, you can actually just number them on the actual thing itself to show the examiner, yep, this is the one I'm trying to work out. So that's going to be half, and what is it this time, 3 plus 2 times 2, which is just going to be 5. Let's just scroll it down a little bit. So the fourth one is going to be half 2 plus 3 times 2, which is also going to be 5. So to work out the total distance, 7 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5, or 17, sorry. So 17 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5. I don't know why I'm using a calculator for this as well, but it's here, so we might as well use it. So it's going to be 36. Now, commonly with this question, you're also asked whether it's an overestimate or underestimate. If you have a look at the trapezium, this bit here and this bit here, we've counted that as area. And actually, there's little thin strips down here. We've counted as area that actually isn't area. So this one will be an overestimate. If your trapezium goes the other way and it doesn't quite hit the curve, then it's going to be an underestimate.